So guys, I just finished watching The Matrix Resurrections, okay, and this is going to be a full-on spoiler review, so if you haven't seen the movie, you still plan to watch it, you're only spoiled, then this is not for you, because I'm literally going to go through scenes of the movie and give my feedback and thoughts on all these, these different things that happen in the movie, so last chance, if you don't want to be spoiled, I don't want to read complaints in the comments, leave now. So already in the opening scene of that movie, you know, it's dark, it's on this roof, and it has the whole thing about, like, all oh, your men are already dead thing, you know, kind of giving a little nudge towards the original movies. And at the beginning of the movie, like, I, I felt the whole fighting scene. The whole scene, everything we see on screen is just lackluster. It's it's badly edited. It's not well choreographed. And to be honest, I thought it's like, it's like a parody. I wasn't sure whether I'm watching an actual scene of the new movie or whether I'm watching some kind of maybe fourth wall joke with bad characters in like some kind of video game setting where at some point they cut and then it turns out, oh, look, it wasn't actually the new Matrix movie. It was just someone playing a video game about the new Matrix movie or something like this. It felt and it looked like it was made on a tight budget and it was completely lacking the kind of sense of serious urgency that the previous movies had. But anyway, then we're introduced to, to Keanu Reeves, character Tom, right? He's now a guy who makes video games. He got very famous and rich with making a video game about his experience in The Matrix. And, and as far as I'm aware, I mean, leave it down in the comments, but I don't know why he suddenly is in The Matrix, why he is not really trusting his previous experience to be real, why he made a video game about it. The whole thing kind of already falls apart at this point. But continuing on from the opening scene, which felt like a video game in itself, I thought, okay, you know, maybe they're doing kind of a fourth wall joke here, right? They're building it up with loads of fourth wall nostalgia tropes, loads of awkward, oh, you remember this thing, right? Moments that were hidden kind of in this brainstorm, for example, when everyone in this creative video game agency is sitting together and they're all like brainstorming how the next Matrix game could look like, or the scene when, his therapist prescribes him these blue pills that he has to take regularly. You know, all these kind of little semi-nostalgic tropes that they had in there. I thought there was a certain charm to the meta-ness of the film at this point, if that makes sense, right? You, at this point, I really still thought there's going to be a hard cut and we're going to find out everything we've just seen is just a joke. It's not real. All the characters are not real. We've just been inside someone's game or something. Everything is just a meta joke towards the previous movies and at some point there's gonna be a hard cut nearly like a wake-up moment and then we are in the real movie because it still felt like something isn't right i was watching it and it's like it feels low budget it's too colorful it's cheesy and not serious the characters are horrible and feel cheap you know like it's like none of these are attributes that i would kind of connect to a matrix movie all right so i thought no 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 they're playing a trick on us right and then then the scene happens where Morpheus, the new Morpheus, sends him these text messages and brings him to the toilet within this video game company. And he comes out of the toilet stall and he's all fly and he wears like this ridiculous, I think it's like a yellow suit or something. And again, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, this, this can't be real, man. Because even Keanu Reeves, the character of Keanu Reeves, like Neo is, is kind of doubting that what he's seeing is real. So I was like, no, 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 maybe, maybe it's the machine's playing a trick on him, right? They're emulating all these cheesy characters around him, hoping to get him out of this world that he's currently in, to buy into it, but actually it's just a setup. It was kind of playing all kinds of 4D chess. And then this theater scene happens, where they're on the stage in this theater with the mirror. And, and it's kind of the, the red pill moment, like the blue or the red pill. And still, at this point in the movie, I was still thinking, no, 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 no. This is just like some kind of medication fever dream right this can't be real everything is over the top nothing looks serious enough he must be in a parody this is a parody there's going to be a hard cut in a minute and, and then we are in this dark matrix universe that we know from the previous movies and we learn that everything we just saw is kind of in a game or has been created like the truman show for him or some stuff like that that's how it felt still when he was taking this red pill in this theater scene. And, and then actually the movie tries to switch to a slightly more serious tone, right? Because then he is brought into the real world. And at that point, I thought like, no, no way. Like all these, these terrible characters that we've just seen, they're all gonna be with us throughout the whole movie? This is not a joke? 
and then they bring him to the city of IO I think it's called where he like they fly towards this wall and he's like we're gonna crash any minute and then they fly through the wall and they're like well we got better at camouflaging our places and it's like this ginormous city where, where I don't know we don't see too much of it as, except like these overhead shots but presumably where loads of people live and it's all hidden from the machines and they can't locate it like a, a massive if they would if the machines would have like a map of, of the world or whatever and there would just be like this massive area that they can't look into which is io it's like no we're not gonna look there we just got better at hiding also it's it's completely i mean unrealistic is a terrible word for a movie like that but it just pulled me out it pulled me out of the film because it didn't feel coherent it didn't feel consistent with the movies we've seen before and then all the locations that we've seen like, remember the, the locations that we saw in the original Matrix movie, like, for example, when he visits Oracle, right? And she lives in this run-down two-bedroom apartment inside, like, a dirty tower block. And the original movies did such a good job in framing the beauty in these kind of mundane urban environments, right? Where you think, well, this is just mundane. There's nothing here. But actually, it's where Oracle lives or where a lot of magic, so to say, happens. Or like the, the, the subway station that's all tiled in white and stuff. And, and you have these kind of really iconic set design, these set pieces that play with the beauty of urban environments. There was none of that in this film. Later on in the film, we, we see the scene where they, they meet this woman at this well and everyone's standing around this well and it feels like you're watching like a Lord of the Rings movie, like green grass around them with flowers and it's all like green hills and it's like, man, it just doesn't match. It feels so disconnected. It felt terrible. And then we're introduced to Agent Smith, who's now played by Mindhunter guy, <laughs> so, which is another thing. It's like, why don't they bring back the actor of Agent Smith? Did anything happen to him? Is he Was he not available? I, 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 to be honest, I don't know. Maybe he died or whatever. But why don't they bring back that guy? So anyway, so they're fighting in this derelict underground toilet space. And again, it felt so lackluster. The previous fight scenes between Agent Smith and Neo felt so iconic. Right, whether it's the, the famous scene where like hundreds of Agent Smith attack him in the rain, you know, and he's fighting with the stick and all that. I know it looks a bit CGI and it's it's not the top of the game, maybe, but it's iconic. Or maybe that scene where he fights Agent Smith in that underground station, that derelict underground station, and the, the famous scene where they jump towards each other and it's all in slow motion. And it just has a certain aesthetic and seriousness and quality of choreography to it that was completely lacking. In, in this movie. It's really weird. And especially the scene where they're fighting down in this derelict toilet, like Agent Smith and Neo. And it just felt so shabby and cheap and unconsidered. And it just wasn't spectacular. It didn't feel spectacular at all. It was badly edited. It just felt like you're watching two actors who are a bit awkward about fighting. And I don't want to put this on Keanu Reeves' plate, obviously. He's very experienced. He, he could have delivered a much better performance probably than, than Mindhunter guy or whatever. But it just felt like you're watching two actors who didn't practice this choreography too much, who didn't put too much thought into it. And instead of having a great choreography or putting a lot of work into a great fighting scene, it was just edited. Like, oh, let's put a cut here. Let's put a cut there. Let's try to make it look like he just smashed with his hands through that wall or whether he's pressing his face into the wall. It, it just felt bad. It just felt cheap and unconsidered and not very well choreographed. It was it was horrible, like nearly shocking. And at this point, I had given up the movie. I was like, okay, this is what the movie is going to be. Okay, I don't, I don't think there's going to be the hard cut anymore. We're too far down this road. It's going to be this. And from there, it just kind of keeps getting worse. You know, then we're learning that some of the robots are now people's friends as well. And now they look like manta rays. Then later on, Agent Smith suddenly, you know, switches sides and becomes Neo's friend and defends him. And the scene where Trinity reclaims her name. Oh, my God. It was so cringy. Where she's like, I hate that name. My name is Trinity. And because Trinity likes motorcycles, now she gets on a motorcycle and they go outside and they, they escape from all the horrible drones. People are being turned to drones and they drive away from them. It's like, oh, it has to happen on a motorcycle because Trinity likes motorcycles. And then at the end of the movie, Neo is just like pushing back force power against everything. Oh, there's some bullets holding off those. Oh, there's a minigun holding off the minigun bullets. Oh, a helicopter blows up a car next to us, pushing the car away with my force powers. It just felt so... Oh my god, like cheap and just not thought through and simply insulting to fans. Okay, I'm, I wouldn't consider myself like a hardcore Matrix fan. I enjoyed the first movie. I think two and three were bad. But this was just 
cringy and like literally pathetic at times. You watch it, you're like, what's what's going on? All the characters were poorly written and, and none of them were memorable. And I just really don't know what went wrong. Honestly, what were they thinking when they made that film? It's hard to say, you know, some people say, oh, it's worse than part two or three of the original trilogy. It's hard to say whether it's worse because it's such a different film. It, it nearly cannot be seen as part of this original trilogy because it has such a different tone to it, such a different style and direction that it's completely disconnected and doesn't feel coherent with the first movie. So I'm, I'm a bit hesitant to say, oh, well, it's better or it's worse or I don't know. So yeah, I don't, I don't know, guys. I just hated that film. That was terrible. I feel like I've wasted what whatever it was, 90 minutes or 100 minutes of my life watching that. And it was hard to keep watching at times because it was so dull and offensively bad and boring and, and looking cheap and unconsidered. It, it was just a real mess, I felt. But anyway, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. If you watched the film, presumably, if you watched this review, you probably saw the movie. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on the film. Leave that down in the comment section below. You can also smash the like button if you enjoyed my little rant about this film, because pretty much that's what it was. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things. Check out the channel. You know, I do all kinds of different content, and there might be some content in there that you enjoy as well. Hope to see you in another video. Thanks for your time. Thanks for hanging out. Take care of yourselves, and I'm out. Bye.